Well, me and my girlfriend were in in our apartment, and like she's got a lot better hearing than me, so she heard like uh, kind of screaming and like popping sounds, and she's like, "Hey, do you hear that? You know, should be we be worried?" And you know, we have all these kids that come outside in front of our house and always play. So I just made the assumption that it was the kids. I was like, don't worry about it. You know, it's probably nothing. And then, yeah. you know, it went on for longer. And it was like a continuous, like, screaming, like, yelling oh. type sound. And uh, oh. so she kind of was like, no, we need to go check it out. So we went to the, the window and uh, in our, our apartment, which faces the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, I lifted the blind open just enough to kind of peek out. Yeah. And as I did that, there was a bunch of like smoke billowing across the window and mm -hmm. some really loud like popping sounds. Mm -hmm. is the best way. It wasn't like bangs, it was like pops. Yeah. But it was loud and I didn't know what it was, so I told her to get back and we went back to the room. And uh, we called the cops and, you know, just kind of said where we were at, told them my name, and told them what we had heard and seen, kind of. And they're, they're the ones that actually told me that there was a fire. They said, oh, are you talking about the fire at Arcadia Palms? And I was like, uh, fire? You know, so then we couldn't go out the front door because the fire was right in front of it. So, you know, I, I opened the, the window and hit out the, the little mesh thing the, and had her go out first and then I had to go get the cat and then I got out. And I guess she just heard that there was some kids in, in a van and that somebody had lit the van on fire. And she got, she, she saw a little bit of the fire. It was towards the end when the, the, the fireman had shown up and put out the fire. I, I didn't catch, um, I didn't catch the fire. I just kind of, when I, by the time I was out with the cat and everything, um, the, the firemen were there, the fire was out and, and they just kind of told us, you know, back up because we got to quarantine the area. So, Mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. at that point we kind of just walked kind of around and I guess it was a mom or I don't, I don't know who it was in relation to the children but there were people really you know clearly upset like crying and stuff uh -huh. and that was that was pretty much it we kind of just walked away because there's nothing we could do we were kicked out of our house essentially and all mm -hmm. that and we just walked and got something to drink at the Circle K and tried to wait it out and we're still actually waiting to get into our apartments. Uh, about how long ago was that? That um, all happened. I'm gonna say like four or five hours ago. It was. Oh. It was uh, evening time, but not when it was dark. Oh, okay. So it, it was oh. a while ago. Oh wow. But, okay. Uh, so um, so you don't know? Have any idea when to let you back in? Or um, to, we went up you? and 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 talked to an officer. He said it's gonna be at least thirty to forty-five minutes. Um, I had left the water on in the bathroom, so I had him go in and turn off the water because I don't want our apartment flooded. Oh, yeah. But uh, wow. other than that, no, they said 30 or 45 minutes. Um, and that was about 20 minutes ago, so we're still waiting to see. Yeah. Okay.